are in San Jose del Cabo. We are heading towards downtown and we are 30 minutes away from Cabo San Lucas. This street is really nice, look at this. going to hang out in downtown and show you guys around some of the places to eat and some of the places to visit this street looks pretty cool you guys it's so colorful there are lots of good restaurants here. It seems like this is a very famous street in San Jose. Look how beautiful it is. All the local art. Right? Yeah. Last time we came here in San Jose, I feel like we didn't come down this street or this area. And I think we literally were right over there. In that town, you know, center area. But, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. We missed this whole like corner section where all sorts of things are. I don't know if we could be going shopping or not. But yeah, because I remember being over here by this flag, but we didn't come over to this side. So here we are, walking around. Maybe it's busier than it used to be too. I don't know. It's always good to get lost because then you get to know places that you never been here before so as Jay said last time we didn't walk that nice colorful street and now we just figure out and now we are walking towards the main plaza that flag is one of the most beautiful flags in the world okay. And I'm not saying it because I'm Mexican, but because it's true. Uh -huh. It's one of the most beautiful flags about the in the flag. world. <laughs> the Canadian is pretty nice too. I think that's the second most beautiful one. So. Yeah, San Jose del Cabo is pretty nice, you guys. There's a lot of local vendors and a lot of shops where you can buy beautiful art and delicious food a lot of tourists right now a lot of canadians americans and it's been pretty hot like we've been around 28 degrees Next week we are going to be 30, so it's going to be really hot by next week. All these art, you guys, it's beautiful. Yeah. The margarita glasses, it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, this is all, all this pieces. is handcrafted handcrafted by Mexicans.
Plaza Mijares and today is Sunday and it looks like there's a lot of going on in here. Lots of uh, local vendors. Yep, that's what's going on. This is the main church in the plaza. That's the sign of San Jose, and that's the main place. So the dinner from last night was pretty good. I really like those panucho yucatecos. Jay got the dog taco and I got the pastor taco. And the, the grilled fish tacos. This, this restaurant is kind of like gourmet style. So it's around 800 pesos for two people. And a couple drinks. Yeah, so it's... Had some, some uh, what do you call it, margarita. Yes, one margarita and one Jamaica water. And it was around 800 pesos, so it's not cheap. But it was pretty good. A lot of flavor, fresh fish, fresh uh, ingredients. And the presentation of the meat, of the dishes was really nice. I like the little barbecue that came in. Yeah, that was so awesome. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we are heading now to a place that is a nature reserve here in San Jose. And it's called... I don't remember right now, but... I'll let you know when we get there. Yeah, we will let you know when we get there. So we are heading out to Estero San Jose and this is a nature reserved area. There's a lot of hiking trails and a lot of uh, birds it seems like. So it looks pretty cool. part of the nature reserve and there's like a river behind those bushes and there's some cows here coming up Canada geese over there that have made their way south for the winter. Looks like the storms are coming. Great blue heron. He flew five feet away. Area. And there's that. Look at all the turtles. the horse. 
fishes. Look at them all. Looks like they're going to get water. Agua. Hola. You can take a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. This is a little sandbag trail that comes from the ocean beach. Oh my goodness. Look at the sunset you guys, literally the sky is color red right now. And this is like the resting area. Super nice. Right, yeah. So this hotel is next to the marina. That's why we can see all these jets here. Look at the view from here. And we are sitting over there and about to get some food. So we ate at the Ganso Hotel. I got three sopes. The sopes were very good. Chicken sopes, fresh salsa, fresh chicken with the lettuce and cream. It was pretty good. And they got the fish of the day. How was it? Uh, it was really good. Yellowfin. I think yeah, it was probably the best uh, fish of the day I've had so far. And yeah, a little expensive, around seventy or fifty-five US. But yes. Not crazy, but yeah, a little more expensive than normal. But it was a nice restaurant right on the water. Fancy hotel. 300 a night there, so. so most of the nice restaurants here are expensive 
So if you guys are coming to San Jose del Cabo, bring cash or credit card. Yeah, all the fancy places take credit cards. This hotel is next to the marina, so it has very nice view to the ocean, to the harbor, harbor to the yachts. See? And they're all expensive yachts. Yeah, there's a lot of people with so much money in here. I was reading an article about the most expensive city to live in Mexico and it is Cabo San Lucas. Actually 25% of Mexicans do travel here. Most of the people that are here are just foreigners, tourists that come from all over the world. Well, mostly Mexico and US. Or I mean Canada and US. But one of the reasons why Cabo San Lucas is one of the most expensive places is because where it is located. So we are at the end of the peninsula it makes the shipping more expensive than any other parts of the country. That's why the minimum salary is higher also in this uh, region because of how expensive it is to ship products from the states to here also there's just one road that comes along so that's why it's more expensive here than Cancun or Puerto Escondido or other places of our trip in San Jose del Cabo. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more traveling videos. Bye!